let us discuss thermal decomposition reaction of metal hydroxides now generally it has been seen the hydroxides of sodium and potassium the hydroxides of sodium and potassium they are stable to heat even if you heat them very strongly they do not undergo any kind of decomposition that means they are stable to heat but the hydroxides from calcium till copper but hydroxides from calcium till copper when you heat it gives me corresponding metal oxide as well as water vapor is released water vapor is released now here also the mercury and silver hydroxide they show difference in behavior as compared to other hydroxides so whenever i heat the hydroxides of silver and mercury they decompose to give me corresponding metal other hydroxides gives me metal uh, metal oxide whereas the hydroxides of mercury and silver gives us metal along with release of oxygen gas and water vapor along with release of oxygen gas and water vapor so let us study about the reactions of thermal decomposition of metal hydroxides from activity series so here i have a first metal in the series that is potassium now as we discuss earlier the hydroxides of potassium and sodium they are stable to heat so hydroxides of potassium i can write it as in koh which is called as caustic potash when i heat it no change so i'll get koh only we can write no reaction also that's fine so i get caustic potash same happens with naoh naoh when i heat it naoh or sodium hydroxide we call it as in caustic soda we call it as in caustic soda so if i heat this i do not get any kind of change here naoh remains naoh only now here onwards we begin a change like calcium hydroxide caoh twice this caoh twice commonly known as slaked lime is commonly known as slaked lime so when i heat this i'll get calcium oxide as a metallic oxide and water vapor will be obtained water vapor will be obtained now this calcium oxide is commonly known as quick lime commonly known as quick lime then magnesium hydroxide that is mgoh twice it's called as milk of magnesia this is present in most of the antacids this is present in most of the antacid tablets or syrup when i heat this magnesium hydroxide i get magnesium oxide plus water vapor another hydroxide in this particular series that is aluminum hydroxide this is also a component of antacid this two magnesium hydroxide and aluminum hydroxide acts as mild base they act as a mild base so when i heat this aluminum hydroxide i'll be getting here al2o3 as aluminum oxide plus water vapor so to balance this i'll multiply aluminum hydroxide by 2 and water vapor by 3 so the reaction gets balanced then i'm having zinc hydroxide that is zn oh twice when i heat this zinc oxide sorry zinc hydroxide i'll get corresponding zinc oxide plus water vapor as we know this zinc oxide is yellow when hot and white when cold this is about zinc hydroxide now moving further towards the hydroxides of iron so i'll take here feoh twice i'll take here feoh twice which is dirty green in color which is dirty green in color when i heat it it gives me 
parents oxide FeO plus H2O FeO plus H2O then I am having Pb OH twice this is chalky white chalky white means the chalk powder when you put it in water kind of appearance comes that becomes a chalky white okay so I'll be getting here PBO as in yellow lethargy plus water vapor okay now next I'm having copper hydroxide CuOH twice okay which is blue in color when I heat this I'll get CuO copper oxide which is black in color plus water vapor now here we need to make a noticeable change here we need to make noticeable change so let me add this mercury hydroxide so I'm having Hg OH twice okay so it gives me mercury metal plus water vapor along with this a neutral gas that's oxygen is released so to balance this I have 2 Hg OH twice which gives me 2 Hg and 2 H2 the reaction got balanced now I have silver hydroxide so silver hydroxide is Hg OH when I am heating this I am again getting silver metal plus water vapor plus colorless odorless neutral gas that's oxygen so in order to balance this I take here 4 here also 4 here I get 2 and the reaction got balanced so this is about a decomposition of metal hydroxides so do remember the hydroxides of sodium and potassium they are stable to heat they do not undergo any kind of decomposition or heating but the hydroxides from calcium till copper when they are heated it decomposes to give corresponding metallic oxide and releases water vapor the change which we see here is for hydroxides of mercury and silver so when hydroxides of mercury and silver are heated it gives corresponding metal as a product along with evolution of water vapor and colorless odorless gas that is oxygen thank you for watching